So the dogs want to take turns barking in my neighborhood. So if you hear roof, 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 that's what it is. Okay, so anyway, what's up, y'all? This is your girl, Gold Map. I'm coming to y'all to show y'all how I deep condition my hair. I know y'all probably saying, girl, I thought you said you didn't bunch your hair up, and I don't. Um, uh Oh, is this an oil? I got to go change conditioners because this hot. Nope, I ain't never used this before, so I got to go get the one that's already open. Okay then, so when I went back in there to change my conditioner, I seen that this one wasn't open. I had gotten by four for twenty dollars one day at selling. That's the one that's um got the jojoba oil. This says jojoba oil moisturizing treatment, which is the same shampoo I used in the last video. This here is you know it's sister sister conditioner. So. I got the one that says strengthening silk intense mayonnaise conditioner and I got the one that's um a moisturizing treatment this is a um olive moisturizing treatment so I said girl since you finna braid your hair up let's go ahead and try this mayonnaise okay because that's what I wanted anyway I was thinking I wanted to um do the African pride mayonnaise or the ORS miracle mayonnaise I forgot but it's in the yellow container like this and they sell them at Walmart but I ain't used them in a long time but anyways I had got this one from Sally's and it has some real good reviews it says strengthen and strength in silk intense conditioning mayonnaise okay so I read the reviews before I had bought it this says for relaxed and natural hair and it says for dry weak brittle hair let me take out my glasses because I need bifocals. And it says, help prevents breakage by strengthening and repairing dry, damaged hair. And it fortifies hair to feel softer and healthier from root to tip. Okay, girl. All right, then. So, we got that. I'm going to see if I can find me a relaxer comb so I can, you know, get to the nitty-gritty of this conditioner stuff. Because I really need it at my, um, at my new growth point. So, we're going to see how this is going to work. Okay, let me... Um... I got me a little bowl or whatever and a spoon and I said I'm gonna dip some of that. Oh, it smells good, huh? Let me eat me some. Tastes good too. <laughs> okay, so anyways, let me stop playing. <laughs> I'm gonna dip me some at because I don't wanna go back in into the um I don't want to dip in the container because I be hating like when I be dipping back in my container and then when I go back in my container again. I be having a little hair in there and stuff. Uh-uh. I don't want to do all that. I don't like that. So, I'm going to... Oh, it look like it. It look like you can eat it. Ugh. Tastes a little bit. It's good. That's probably enough. I got it almost full. Well, I got it like three quarters of the way full, it look like. Or maybe half. Let me see what I got. I got about that full. So, that's probably about three quarters of the way full, this little bowl. And this is what I do got. So hopefully that's enough for my hair. So let me take my hair down. Y'all, I got it all ghetto, ghetto fat, boot, bootleg rigged up in here. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. Gotta make sure when you take your towel down, baby, don't just snatch it off. Take it down with ease, cause I do got it, the girl. So this is a ghetto towel we got. I put a hole in it to put it around my neck, but listen here though. Okay, so I did my hair when I could. It's soft now. I ain't even know it was going to be soft now. Okay, then. Okay, then, hair. <laughs> okay, then, hair. So, let me back up a little bit. Hey, I would have on a black shirt, right? We ain't doing no lip shake. But anyways, I had it in two sections, only two, when I went to... Um, when I rinse the when I rinse the color out of my hair, cause I told y'all when I come back that my hair was gonna be colored, and it is. It's all fried, dyed, and laid to the side. <laughs> all the gray gone for right now. For right now, it don't last forever because it's a temporary solution. Um, for my gray hairs, and I only get gray hair in the front. I don't have like a head full of gray hair, and then this hair start turning. You know, this just this is. Uh, what you call that? You know how people be having like a whole bunch of color, hair that color, and then they only, and then their roots start growing out and it be that color. No, my real hair here is black, and I'm only graying around my edges. Okay, that's what I'm starting to gray at first. So, um, and we're going to color them too, okay? Um, so let me show y'all. 
I just showed y'all my little bowl of pudding conditioner. <laughs> so I'm going to get this brush here. This here my perm brush, relaxer brush, or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to take my hair and I'm going to say I still got it in sections. I'm going to put this back in a section like this here. Hopefully we ain't going to get it too tangled. It's a tangle as soon as I touched it. And I'm going to put it back in four sections so that way it'll be easier to work with in four sections. So again, yeah, you got to keep doing it. Gotta keep doing it. I know it's probably aggravating to some people, but if you ain't got no patience, then you better get you some if you want, you know, to see good results. So, anyway, detangling that. Whenever you feel tangled, just go and detangle them. You know, I know probably some people be like, child, I'm just gonna pop this comb through my hat and get it over with. Cause that was me back then. Cause I would and I shoot. You couldn't tell me nothing. Nothing different. Cause I was take that comb and snatch it through every kink, every tangle and everything. Just say, I'm getting it. I'm, de I'm detangling my hair. No, you're really not. You're pulling your hair out. That's what you're doing. And you you tangling it though, but you pulling a lot of it out at the same time. Which you know it's gonna shed anyway, but you don't want whatever you don't want unnecessary shedding and you know and you definitely don't want breakage of any kind. Ain't no such thing as necessary breakage. There is necessary shedding, but not necessary breakage. Okay, so I feel some tangles, so I'm gonna go through that. Mm -hmm. And it's best to go through it with your fingers and not the comb. Like, I'm not anti-comb. I'm anti don't take the comb and run it through your hair before you done detangle it with your fingers. I am now. I didn't used to be now. I didn't used to be. I grow and I know. I learn and I earn. <laughs> okay? So, this is what my, the back part of my hair looking like. It's pretty... It's good in finger detangled, so that finger ain't coming through that good, huh? Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna finger detangle this section. So since I'm back here and this is the last section I didn't do, I'm gonna start with this section. And I'm gonna detangle it all the way with my fingers. And once it's all the way detangled with my fingers, as far as I can can feel because that's the pro that's the purpose of detangling with your fingers is because you can actually feel it you can feel your tangles with your with your fingers fingers is what i said not feet, feet, fingers everybody always be correcting me when i be trying to say fingers but it's hey i've been saying fingers my whole life <laughs> um okay so i'm getting a good okay there go a little piece right there i'm getting a good little tangle free situation going on here I hope y'all day was good today. I really do. And I can feel so much new growth now that my hair is washed and clean. And I can feel the difference between the, the curls, um, the new growth hair and the already relaxed hair. I can feel a big difference. Now I got a little tangled spot right here that I'm going to go through. Now child, I can't believe it like back in the days when I was younger. I would just take a comb and pop through that and hurt myself so bad, be crying, trying to detect girls. I'm so tender headed. I'm so tender headed. It don't make no sense, okay? It really don't make sense. It really don't make sense. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Ooh. So, I got a big tangle right there, y'all. Y'all can't see it, but I can feel it. And if I was to take the comb through that section right there, right now, I'm probably going to lose like a ball of hair. Um, so, just take my time and go through it like this. Okay. Child, let me get this tangle here. Ah, all kinds of tangle, you're doing too much. Imagine if this was all my hair in one piece. Imagine if I didn't section my hair off. You feel me? If I didn't section my hair off, 
that will be a tangled mess. Like, right here will be a tangled mess. And I'll probably get frustrated because this will be tangled to this section and that section and all will be. No, so you can individualize your little tangled sections is why you would have your hair in sections. So you could, um, when you do run into a tangle, you don't have to get it out of a big, big bunch of hair. You can get it out of a little piece, okay? Because, ooh. This is irritating my little soul right now. But I got it. I think I got it. Not really, but it's, it's getting there. Okay, I think I got it. Let's see. Okay. I got it. So, I got it good enough. So, now that I got it good and finger detangled, I'm just going to start from the bottom. I don't know if I had... Let me wipe this comb off. Let me wipe this comb off because it fit. My hand felt a little grease on the handle. I don't want to put nothing back into my hair. I ain't use it when I shampooed it. This is probably just from the last time I combed my hair. That's probably just moisturizer. That got to be what that is because that's the last time I... Okay, so I got the, this detangled. Now I got to make sure I go all the way to the bottom. Don't just tank. Stop right here and you're done. You got to hit that head. You gotta hit the head, baby. You gotta hit the head. Once you touch that scalp and you can come through with that scalp. This for me now. Everybody don't detangle their hair the same way. So, but this is what I'm doing. This is what I do. Okay? Y'all see that? Boom. I'm just gonna go through. I'm not gonna detangle all of them at the same time. I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna show y'all how I put my conditioner in. And I'm going to use this little comb. You irritate my little soul, okay? Because before I used to be looking at girls in their YouTube videos and be like, you using a relaxer comb? That's so stupid. You can just use your fingers and slap it in there. But guess what? I tried it one day and I said, well, let me see. Let me be bougie. I call it bougie. And be, be extra. That's the word. Not bougie because this I'm, I'm far from bougie, baby. Um, Let me be extra. I just want to say extra here. Yeah. A little extra. Because instead of being ratchet, <laughs> I'm cleaning this spoon off and putting it in my head as y'all can see, you know. And try this little method out. So, the method is, you get your little shampoo. What is it? Relax the brush. And, see, I need I need a mirror so I can see y'all, y'all can see me, and I can see it. Okay, let me pull my mirror up. Y'all y'all can't see what I got going on down here with the mirror. <sighs> okay. So, I should have started in the front so y'all can see. But anyway, it's kind of like putting in a relaxer. You see what I'm saying? That's how you do it. Y'all seen that? Kind of like putting in a relaxer. Sip. Sip. You're putting in conditioner. Okay? And then you just take that. Take that piece. Pull it up like you done got getting you a fresh relaxer. Get you another little piece. And put it up there. Okay? So apply your conditioner the same way you will apply your relaxer, except it's deep condition time, okay? And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to make sure I get the roots, okay? Get that new growth. So I just take this. I'm supposed to have on my little gloves, but and put that there. Like that. You go up with that. Exactly how you do the relaxer process. So you ain't gotta you ain't gotta worry about that. You ain't gotta worry about no time on how long it takes you to put in, touch the scalp, none of that. Okay? And just keep going. Now this is gonna get my new growth good and um conditioned. And and also it is gonna help that line of demarcation with a relaxed hair in the um the the new growth meat because that will be that's a lot of people's breaking point so when you condition your hair you got to make sure you get that that part really well see what i'm talking about like hair be getting off in, on this and if i was to dip back into my jar all of this hair be going back into my jar and i'd be mad but sometimes i've been i'll be having time and I just be doing whatever, and I stick it right back in the jar. I be double dipping and stuff. But 
Not this time. Okay, so let me pause for one second and put my gloves on because, first of all, my fingernails look a ratchet whole mess. And second of all, I do not like to go through my hair um, a lot of times with just my plain bare fingers. If my fingernails ain't done, uh, well cut and all of that stuff. Because sometimes I can snag or you could snag if your nails ain't done like pieces of your hair. And every little strain count in case you ain't know. Okay? Every little strain. Like even one strain count. I'm not playing. It count. Okay, so just going on up in there. And I keep applying like I'm putting a relax in. That's just so I can get to the roots, okay? But yes, we're gonna put that, we're gonna put the conditioner all the way through. We're gonna bring it all the way through. So to anybody who just started watching this um this video right here. Who busted open in the middle and then watch the beginning when I first start putting the conditioner in. This is conditioner, not a relaxer, okay? This is conditioner and not a relaxer. In case you see me pull it all the way through like I'm about to do. I just want to let you know this ain't a relaxer. This is conditioner. And when you condition your head, you condition it all, okay? Alrighty, so that section is done at the base. So now, what I'm going to do, this one, I'm going to take my hands, okay, and just put it on there. Now we're going to bring it through. All the way to the ends, make sure them ends get some, okay, them ends got to get some. And then I go through and smooth it out. It's all good. No, I don't comb it through. I remember when, when I was in cosmetology school, I think our teacher used to tell us to comb the conditioner through so it can get on every strand. I don't know who had that was, but it was on a mannequin. But it wasn't on this this here head. Because ain't no way I can take a comb through my hair like right now and comb my conditioner through. I'm going to pull out so much unnecessary hair because your hair more fragile when it's wet. If I take a comb through this and try to run this conditioner through it, cool. I'm going to run it through all right. Just better be ready for what's, come, what's to come. Dang, that piece of, that conditioner flew way over there on my flow. Okay, so I'm done with that piece. Now, y'all seen that piece? I'm going to do all the other pieces like that the same way. Clip this off. Ain't going on about my little business. And I'm going to clip the rest of it off. I mean, I'm going to do the rest of it just like I just did this one, okay? So I'm done putting the conditioner all on my head. So I'm just going to go through and grab like a blob. What's left in here. I'm going to grab all of that. Not all of that at once, but you know. And go through with my fingers and do this. Smooth all the way to the end. And make sure you get these ends because they are the weakest, oldest parts of your hair. Treat these ends like you would treat your dear sweet grandmother, okay? Real gentle, okay? Because it's fragile. She's fragile, okay? Alright, so. And then sometimes I'll break it through. I ain't gonna comb it through and condition it, but I'll break it open a little bit so I can get, you know, make sure I get a deep conditioner in on the strands and stuff. And I make sure I smooth it out. All the way. I make sure I mash it in there. Like that. Yep, make sure I get it in there. And then sometimes I take it and I twist that section. That's just to like mash it and make it go in there. And I go down and mash it again. But then I'm going to untwist it. I ain't going to leave it twisted. And I go back down it like this. Try not to do too much like pulling it apart like this and stuff. Because you can snag some of your hair out. Wait till you rinse it out. 
to do all of that because this conditioner is going to soften all those tangles up and then when you condition your hair when you rinse your hair out um it'll be easier to detangle okay y'all so that is it now i'm going to put a grocery bag on my head i ain't got any here but i'm gonna put a big walmart bag or something on my head and let it sit i'm gonna go down since i got some more in here well, I'm scraping out the crumbs. I don't want to leave I don't, no crumb left behind. I'm going to just go down this little middle part here. All the way down. And squish it in there. Mm-hmm. I ain't finna just wrench this out and throw it away. I'm using every drop, baby. This condition that cost me five whole dollars. <laughs> okay. So. I tend to grow hair way down my neck. I be cutting it off sometimes. But right now, that is it, y'all. So now I'm going to go sit under the dryer. I'm going to put a Walmart bag on my head. Tie it up. Sit under the dryer. Find me something good to watch on YouTube. Or uh, find me a good book to read for about 45 minutes to an hour. Or a crossword puzzle or something. Puzzle. Puzzle. And, uh... I'll be back to show y'all. I'm going to rinse it out. I'm going to dry it and I'm going to rinse it out. And I don't know what I'm going to do. Just, just stay right there. I'll be right back. See? I don't know why y'all be acting like I be lying. I told y'all I was going to put a bag on my head. Didn't I tell you? So I'm going to go sit under the dryer. And I'll see y'all back in about an hour or two. Whatever. So, child. It has been 40 days and 40 nights under the dryer. And... I'm just going to show y'all what my hair looks like after I get it from under the dryer. Okay. It's still hot. I was sitting under the dryer for an hour and a half. I said I was going to do 45 minutes, which is my regular time. But I said, well, when I sat down, I didn't feel like getting up. So this is what my hair looks like after getting from under the dryer. It's real like a creamy, like, like I don't put a bunch of conditioning in it and this feels real soft so i'm just gonna go in there and rinse it around and rinse it off and pull this side out for you um it's still warm so what i do when i do my conditioner is i i wash it out with warm water not cold but warm and we i'm gonna show y'all what it looks like after it's all rinsed out okay just taking these down for y'all can see my sections. This is what my hair will look like after the conditioner. Y'all see it's still in sections. I'm looking over there, but y'all right here. Y'all see it's still in sections. Okay. It's that mandate. This is my first time using it. So, oh, I forgot. It's my first time using it. So, first time using mayonnaise and it feels just like a deep conditioner like it feels just like my deep conditioner i don't know if it's any different so let me wash it out and i'll let y'all know okay i just thought about that <sighs> feel good though yes i'm gonna wash it down in sections i'm gonna wash it out in sections um i just took it down so y'all can see what it was looking like okay i just came back to let y'all know just in case y'all think I was gonna forget to wash it in sections, but no am. I'll be right back. So basically it's been all day. I started washing my hair at ten o'clock and recording. <laughs> hey, I go night to rinsing out the conditioning process and it is four forty two. Ooh, child. <laughs> the struggles of being on YouTube trying to get these videos out. This is what my hair looks like after it has been rinsed out and come from under the dryer. Okay, y'all can see how the color took. I mean, I still got a few little sprinkles of gray. You can barely tell them. But for the most part, my gray hair is out. But anyway, the feel of my hair after this hair... Mayonnaise, mayonnaise. In case you missed it, in case you missed it, it looked like this. Silk elements is 
strengthening silk intense conditioning mayonnaise okay and I felt like my hair needed a mayonnaise treatment or a strengthening treatment because I'm finna to go ahead and put it in a long term, long term protective style. Okay. Okay, so it feel real good. It feel good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap it up in my towel, let it towel dry for a little while. And let me show y'all what the back look like. Hopefully I got it all out. If not, we'll fix that later. Um... Let it towel dry. It's still in sections, y'all. Um, I'm not combing out the sections because when I blow dry it, I'm going to dry. I mean, when I dry it, I'm going to dry it in sections too. So, that's what it's looking like. I hope y'all seeing that. I ain't doing that over. Um, whoo! Cool. Um, I'm going to towel dry it. But anyways, y'all stay tuned to the next video because I will be using the Rev Air hair dryer again to dry my hair. And, um... I'll let y'all know what I think on my second thoughts of using that, okay? Anyways, y'all, that's all I got to say in this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye!